If we place a capacitor in parallel with a lamp, when the battery is removed, the capacitor will begin to power the lamp. It slowly dims as the capacitor discharges. If we use two capacitors, we can power the lamp for longer. Let's say capacitor 1 is 10 microfarads and capacitor 2 is 220 microfarads. How do we calculate the total capacitance? Well, that's very simple. The answer is 230 microfarads. The capacitors combine in parallel, so 10 plus 220 equals 230 microfarads. We can keep adding more, such as a 100 microfarad capacitor, and the total is just the sum of all of the capacitors. By placing them in parallel, we are essentially combining these to form a larger capacitor. That's very useful, because if, for example, we needed a large 2000 microfarad capacitor, but we didn't have one, we could just use more smaller capacitors, such as two 1000 microfarads, or four 500 microfarads, etc. It's also often used for filtering out noise and to provide more current in high demand circuits. The total charge stored in parallel circuits is just charge equals the total capacitance multiplied by the voltage. So here we have a 9 volt battery and two capacitors with a total capacitance of 230 microfarads. As this is parallel, this wire is 9 volts and this wire is 0 volts, so both capacitors are charged to 9 volts. Therefore, 23 microfarads multiplied by 9 volts will give us 0.00207 coulombs. And with the three capacitors, we have 330 microfarads. We multiply this by the 9 volts to get 0.00297 coulombs. We can also calculate the charge of each capacitor individually. We just use the same formula for each capacitor. You can see the answers on screen for that now. Okay, check out one of the videos on screen now to continue learning electronics engineering as this is the end of this video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and of course, the engineeringmindset.com.